Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? I can see you're trying to appeal to my good nature. Pity for you I don't have one. I'll give you this one for free. We use our big guns to kill big super mutants, so people like you can sleep at night. Of course. But you'd have to secure the permission of Elder Lions and, well, I just don't see that happening. So move along. Yeah, the city ruins are crawling with them. They've pretty much overrun all of old D.C. Do yourself and us a favor and stay as far away from there as humanly possible. Definitely no place for civilians. You're standing in front of the Citadel, headquarters to the Brotherhood of Steel, Capital Wasteland Detachment. Negative. No super mutants, civilians, or traveling salesmen allowed. Which are you? Of course. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! What do you need, civilian? That's an affirmative. You're clear to enter, but I still don't like it. Or you. Of course. Welcome. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lyons. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? 
Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison. It'll be okay. Now, this is James's daughter, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. She knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help her. Very well. We'll sort this all out. Hail. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Elder on deck. Night. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. I feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. So be it. Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel, low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Why, yes. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor. When they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval.
what more? So Hail. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. I've read the reports, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow, if my father permits it. You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor, but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission, but you'll need to ask him yourself. In my father's name, I bid you farewell. Hail. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back, fucking cowards. Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell so fighting those uglies won't be. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. What aid can I offer you, outsider? If you'll excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. I will serve the Citadel and Elder Lions until my dying breath. Is there any other life? Yes. And I told you that in order to compensate for last Thursday's mishap, there would be some complications. I'm dealing with it. I come to you for results, not excuses, Rothschild. That robot could mean the difference between victory or defeat against the Enclave. Oh, very well. Now, now, please, uh, the giant robot to fix, hmm? May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment. A Gek? <laughs> Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly, the news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. 
I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault -Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. I'm afraid I have other duties to... Not... I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. Predominantly because the Elder won't like some of what I have to say. But fine, I'll discuss it. What do you want to know? Well, that depends on who you ask. Lions will tell you it's because we're protecting the poor, innocent people of the Capital Wasteland. Most others here will tell you the same thing. They'll do anything for that man. No, not everyone. But for a variety of reasons, those who disagree are no longer with us. I am, and have been since we first found him well over 20 years ago. Liberty Prime is the designation we found on file for him. Magnificent, don't you think? At least he will be once all systems are operational. It's the energy consumption. Something that big with such advanced weapon systems. Uh, we just don't have the means to power it. Not yet. He was developed as a super weapon back in the days before the war. The first joint operation between Robco and General Atomics International. Apparently, he was meant to help liberate Alaska from the Chinese, but was never completed. They were forced to go in without him. They won, but suffered heavy losses. If we can get him up and running well, I think you get the idea. What do you want? We arrived here in 55, established ourselves in the Citadel within the first few months. The Elder has kept us busy since then. What do you want to know? The Brotherhood of Steel is bigger than what you see here. We're only a small division, you could say. But that's a bit of a sore subject around here. Much has happened in the 23 years since we left the West Coast. Our mission has changed in that time. The changes have not all been pleasant and have had significant repercussions. Some did not approve of the Elders' decisions. Initially, they followed because we are all taught to follow the Elders. Don't hurry back. What was the result of the latest scale? There's been another human sighted in the wasteland, in the Everglades Hills. Hail to you, daughter of James. Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. His name is Liberty Prime. Very patriotic. Built by a very proud nation during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild. He can tell you more. Steel be with you.
Central mutant activity in DC is high, but nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm? Oh yes, hello, I've heard about you. We don't get many strangers here in the Citadel, especially those who walk about unescorted. I am Scribe Bowditch. If you require something, simply ask. They're sporting some pretty impressive power armor, I'll give them that. The Advanced Mark II. But that's all right. With a few modifications, our own armor will more than handle anything they throw at it. They're relentless, like nothing I've ever seen before. I honestly think they see our brothers in power armor as some kind of canned meal. Some of the pieces we've had brought back, men and women ripped in half, some pulled through their armor. Just horrible. Oh, yes, I can. In fact, I suspect I could write several texts on the various details of the Brotherhood. But I suspect... It seems like whichever challenge we're facing is always the biggest one. Survival at first, then expansion, and now cohesion. We've seen plenty of wasteland freaks or would-be dictators. They're not too bad. At least we've faced that sort of thing before. But more recent events, like the schism with the outcasts, those are the problems that worry me. It's a rather sad story, I'm afraid. Last year, some of our soldiers had grave disagreements with the decisions of Elder Lions. Disagreements spiraled out of control and there was a schism in the ranks. The loyal soldiers practically threw out the dissenters. Now they call themselves the Outcasts. Where Elder Lions has fought to protect the people of the Capital Wasteland, the Outcasts demanded we move on and leave them to their fates. They insisted there was more important technology to be recovered and a scientific base in the ruins of Fort Independence to the west. As callous as their decision may be, it's more in line with our original mission. Elder Lyons is an inspiration to us, but to them, he's a traitor. As much as some of our soldiers would like to see them shot for deserting, there's not much we can do. We're too busy with the super mutants. Meanwhile, they're busy seeking out new technology and trying to get back in contact with the Brotherhood out west. So our paths rarely cross, but it's never pretty when they do. I just hope things cool down before it gets worse. It is a rather discouraging subject, isn't it? Farewell.